Hi, my name is Yasmin Zamit Stevens. Welcome back to the How To series. Today I'm going to show you how to squat. The first thing you need to start off with is a good warm up. Mobility for the hips and the ankles is the priority before you do your squats. The first thing I like to do is grab a plate or a kettlebell, hold it in your hands while you're in the squat position and just move your hips side to side while keeping your feet flat on the floor. After doing this for a few seconds, I'll then start taking my knee over the toes, lifting the heels slightly. I'll keep doing this side to side for another 30 seconds. Make sure to take the knee over the toes and not collapse the knee inwards. The knee over the toe cue is going to be an important factor throughout the workout today. I'll also include some other dynamic stretches before I actually start squatting. One of the most important things about squatting is foot placement and foot stability. A lot of people take for granted how to place their feet inside their shoes. What you really want to focus on is the three points of stability. So your weight should be distributed equally on your big toe, little toe and heel. Automatically when we stand up, Sometimes we tend to collapse the arch inwards, making our knees collapse inwards as we stand up. What you want to do is create an arch under your foot by gripping the toes onto the floor. It should really feel like you're trying to grab the floor with your toes. Automatically, your knees now are facing outwards. You're going to want to maintain this foot position throughout the entire squat movement always making sure that you're keeping your body weight on your big toe, little toe and heel equally. So now let's focus on actually approaching the barbell onto the squat rack. You want to make sure that the barbell is at around chest height. When you approach the barbell, the first thing you should do is place the hands on the bar. You should not go under the bar before you actually put your hands onto it. So you want to place your feet around hip width apart and your toes slightly turned outwards. Once you get under the bar, you want to keep your feet next to each other when you're underneath the barbell. Keep the chest up, take a deep breath in, pull the barbell towards you and then bring the barbell off the rack. You'll then take a few steps back. So now that you have the barbell on your back and you're ready to squat, you want to take a deep, short breath into the gut, then attempt the squat. You do not want to be breathing into the chest and breathing in too deep. You should feel like the breathing is helping you tighten at the core and not fill in your lungs. As you go down into the squat position, you have to make sure that your chest is up, feet are flat and knees are going in the same direction as the toes. So when you're doing the squat, you want to make sure to go down in a very controlled way. You do not want to drop or bounce at the bottom. Coming up can be a bit faster, but in general, the movement needs to be very controlled. Some other common mistakes I see while squatting are knee cave and bringing the hips up too fast. So basically, like I've said before, you want to make sure that the knees are going in the same direction as your toes on the way down and up. When you fail to maintain the right foot position, your knees tend to collapse inwards. This is why it's always important to continue gripping on the floor with the toes throughout the entire movement. You also want to make sure to bring the hip up at the same time you bring the chest up. So you're not raising the hip up too early as you come up from the squat. So as with everything in the gym, you want to make sure to find a weight that is challenging, but comfortable. It is also very important to maintain the right technique throughout your warm up. Don't just think about the right technique when you get to the first working set. 
If you don't have too much experience with squatting with weight, just start with an empty barbell and work your way up. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Happy squatting and make it count.